What's up, YouTube? King Goken here. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys some Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition, and uh, and today I'm just going to share my opinions on it. Um, the game came out last week. I'm pretty sure it came out last week, and uh, you know I, I played my first online match. You know I, I, was, I was pretty excited. You know, and I actually had my first match here on YouTube. Uh, go ahead and check it out if if you want. But uh, in my first match, I destroyed my my first opponent with fees. And I was like, all right, I mean, is, is this how it's going to be? I mean, where are the good players at? So then, you know, I played some more matches. And uh, one thing I quickly noticed is that there's a whole lot of lag. And it really depends on your opponent's connection. And I know that's true with every game you play online. But the lag was so bad, it's like people were teleporting all over the place. And if there's one thing that I have, that I have to criticize about this port of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is that the online play isn't as perfect as I would have liked because I'm pretty sure before this game came out I, me I remember reading something about how it was supposed to have uh, well, how it, how the online play was supposed to be perfect and that there wouldn't be lag but um, there's lag a whole bunch of it and it's just disappointing because I mean with a game like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike I mean you have to be very precise with your movements if you're not precise with your movements, with your with your command input, uh, your moves won't come out. It's, it's just that simple, you know. And because this game requires such uh, precise uh, input, um, you have to be you know on your game all the time. I mean, you, you can't play this game like Street Fighter Four because Street Fighter Four was very forgiving with its command input. Because like for example. In Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, you have, when, when you fire a Hadouken, you have to do the entire motion and then press punch. In Street Fighter 4, uh, you could do uh, about half of the motion and then press punch and then Hadouken will come out. Uh, and a lot of people who are used to doing that, I mean a lot of them are playing Street Fighter 3 Third Strike for the first time. And a lot of those people are having issues. Uh, <clears throat> getting their moves out because you know I was reading around on message boards and I was reading about how people were saying that they can't get their super arts to come out you know and it, it really it's really it, it's really because Street Fighter 4 because people are so used you know to Street Fighter 4's forgiven command inputs that people are not you know used to playing a fighting game you know by actually doing the actual input you know but uh, yeah uh, you know if in this little quick review you know, if I was doing like a review for like a video game website, I would uh, give this game, I guess, an 8.0. Simply because uh, it's a good fighting game. The game itself is great. Uh, all the extras in the game are pretty cool. I mean, you can unlock uh, music, remix music for the stages. You can unlock the original Third Strike theme. So it, it does have replay value. But, uh, but yeah. If if I give this game a score, it would be it, I'll definitely give it a, a, a eight point oh. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is King Gokim. Thanks for watching the video. I'm out.